Attacks on the media are having an effect. Threats against reporters are on the rise. But instead of me just telling you that, I want you to hear it for yourself. On Friday, a caller to C-SPAN said he's going to shoot me and Don Lemon if he sees us. Now let me just preface this by saying I'm not asking for sympathy. I don't think I'm in extreme danger. I know some of my colleagues get much worse threats than I do. CNN has a great security team and we know how to handle this stuff. And this problem is not confined to CNN. People at Fox News and other outlets have to deal with this garbage too. But these kinds of threats are coming in more often. So take a listen. Here's the phone call. Don, State College, Pennsylvania supports the criticism of the media. Don, you are on the air. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, it, all, it all started when Trump got elected. Brian Stelter and Don Lemon from CNN called Trump supporters all racist. They don't even know us. Okay, let me just stop it right there. I've never called all Trump supporters racists. Neither has Don Lemon. So what this guy is about to say is predicated on a lie. I don't even know these Americans out here, and they're calling us racist because we voted for Trump? Come on, give me a break. They started the war. I see him, I'm going to shoot him. Bye. So he says we started a war, so if he sees us, he's going to shoot us. So where did the caller get the impression that I called all Trump supporters racist? I don't know, but I do know that the night before on Fox, Sean Hannity played a two-year-old clip of me asking if racial anxiety was a factor in Trump's rise. Obviously, researchers have proven that, yes, racial anxiety and resentment was a factor, but that's not the same as calling all Trump supporters racist. And I don't know if the C-SPAN caller watched Hannity. I'm not blaming Hannity. I just thought the timing was odd. Friday's threatening phone call on C-SPAN is just a tiny illustration of the threats that are out there. Many journalists who cover politics say they are receiving more and more threats nowadays in the Trump era. MSNBC's Katie Turr sounded the alarm earlier this week. I hope you get raped and killed, one person wrote to me just this week. Raped and killed. Not just me, but a couple of my female colleagues as well. And in case you want to argue that this has nothing to do with the president, the most recent note I got ended with MAGA. Of course, there's always been unhinged people in the world, but journalists are concerned now. As, as Brett Stevens wrote in the New York Times on Saturday, journalists are concerned we are approaching a day when blood on the newsroom floor will be blood on the president's hands. I hope he is wrong. 